Hello everyone and welcome to Mike Muses Megazorts. Today's video is episode four, uh, issue 44 of the Altai Megazord build. <coughs> and in this video we're going to be doing some work on the top deck of the Pterodactyl. So let's get rid of our packaging, do our parts check, and then we'll get straight into it. This one was fighting me. <laughs> right then, so from the top we've got 44-1, which is the top deck part. 44-2, an internal structure part. 44-3, we've got two buttons for the control on the pterodactyl's eyes. 44-4 is a decorative plate for the main body. And 44-5 is a circuitry board for the rest of the... Uh, build for today. So over the page we go and let's get started. So we need to go and grab our pterodactyl model, there she is. <coughs> so we'll flip it over and then the first step is going to be to take 44.4 and just put that into the part on the tail here. So these two connection points will fit into these two holes here and it's a friction joint, no glue necessary, no screws. That will just plug into place and press firmly to secure it. Right. Over we go. So we'll flip over the pterodactyl body section there and then we're going to take 44.5 which is the circuitry board and on the front of that, we're going to plug in the battery pack cable from, no, sorry, the uh, cable to the LEDs on the front of the circuit board. This is close in fiddly detail work here. Okay, the next part is we're going to take the battery pack from issue 43 and pop that into place into 44.2. Make sure you've got the alignment of this piece the right way around. So the battery pack will fit in there quite snugly and the wire loops around. <coughs> And then what we're going to do is plug the battery pack into the rear connection point on the circuit board. And this should just click into place. Just like that. Okay, on to the next part. We're going to need both of these sections here. So we've got the top deck part 441. And now what we're going to do is take one of the two buttons from 443 off the sprue and drop that into place. Is. We'll put the rest to one side. So that drops into place, and then we're going to secure that in place by putting the circuit board forty four five 
uh, line that up so that the the black button on the circuit board is uh, pointing down towards the button we've just installed. for a second. Just make sure that works with the click the button a couple of times. And then to secure this in place what we're going to do is take the battery cover of 442 that we've just uh, we just plugged in and put this over the two um, posts that are sticking up from 441. So one here and the second one uh, it's not really visible because my hands are in the way. But this should just slide into place. If you can get one in, then use that as a, as a hinge to get the second one in place lined up and pressed into place. <coughs> so there's no screws to hold this one down again it's another friction uh, friction post connection See there we've got a decent connection because the eyes are flickering. Over the page we go on to the last one and this is basically just to sit the, uh, sit the entire sub-assembly here into place in the pterodactyl's top deck. And we're going to want to do this so that the friction, um, the friction posts here line up that the battery cover is secured to. And then these will, these will be pressed into place to uh, keep the whole thing secure. So we're just going to put the wires down and back into the main body of the pterodactyl as much as possible. And again, this is quite a little fiddly bit here. The wires are all lined up. You should just be able to press this home. There we go. And with two snaps, the whole thing's done. We'll just give the eyes another quick test with the button. So they're on solid, they're a flicker, and then they're off. Just fold the head up, and that is it. We are done with issue 44 of the Altair Megazord build. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're only just joining us. Any comments on the build video you want to make, drop them in the box below. Uh, it's all appreciated, so thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time for issue 45. Bye for now.